Is South Africa's fight against corruption already lost? We'll be talking about the very last words that Pravin Gordon actually issued before his death. While South Africa faces a critical moment in its battle against corruption and Public Enterprises Minister Pravin Gordon sounded the alarm before he passed on. Well, in a recent letter, Gordon urged the leadership to take immediate and firm action against corrupt officials who are slowly eroding the nation's progress. With years of state capture, scandals and mismanagement weighing heavily on the country, Gordon's call comes at a time when public trust in the government is at an all-time low. But will this desperate plea result in meaningful action or will it be ignored like so many warnings before? In this video, we are going to dive deep into Gordon's final letter, its significance and what it means for South Africa's future. Well, the rise of corruption in Africa is something that's actually making so many rounds right now. I mean, over the last decade, Several corruption scandals, particularly during the era of state capture, have shaken the country's political and economic foundations. The term state capture became synonymous with the influence private interests, especially those associated with the Gupta family, had over the government affairs and of course the SOEs, that is the state-owned enterprises. While key institutions like ESCOM, SAA, that is South African Airways, and of course not leaving behind Transnet, became breeding grounds for corruption, mismanagement, and inefficiency. The infamous Zondo Commission, taxed with investigating allegations of state capture, revealed how deep corruption runs within the government. Despite several inquiries, commissions, and promises from President Sinemaposa's administration to clean up the mess, little has actually changed. Public confidence in government institutions has been severely shaken. According to recent surveys, many South Africans believe corruption is embedded in the system, making it difficult for anyone to hold officials accountable. Gordon's letter is the latest call to action in a long string of efforts to address these issues. Pravin Gordon has been an outspoken advocate for clean governance throughout his career. His recent letter goes beyond merely highlighting corruption. Believe me, it is a stern warning that the government is at the crossroad. In this letter, Gordon stresses the need to remove corrupt officials from all levels of governance, including state-owned enterprises, municipalities, and national departments. I mean, come to think of it, why is this actually important? For South Africa to recover and move forward, institutions need to function properly. I mean, that they are supposed to be free from the influence of corrupt officials, and it is something that has to be done immediately. The current state of many state-owned enterprises, such as ESCOM, which has been plagued by constant blackouts due to mismanagement and corruption, reflects the damage unchecked corruption can do. Gordon points out that without swift action, the government risks sending a message that corruption is acceptable and those who engage in it will face no real consequences. Furthermore, Gordon insists that a time for rhetoric has passed. The South African public has grown tired of promises. They want to see tangible outcomes. Corrupt officials being removed from office investigations being completed and the rule of law being restored that is exactly what every single south african out there wants well would the government actually act i mean despite several efforts to address corruption the pace of reform has been slow gordon's letter puts additional pressure on president Sirimaposa's administration which has made anti-corruption efforts a central part of its mandate however Gordon's message highlights the gap between promises and real change. Even though several high-profile corruption inquiries have taken place, including the Zondo Commission, few officials have been held accountable. For South Africa to truly turn the tide against corruption, Gordon believes that the removal of corrupt officials is the first step. Only through purging the system of those who abuse their power 
can the country begin to rebuild trust and lay the foundation for sustainable development? I mean, the consequences of inaction are severe. If corrupt officials remain in power, South Africa risks further economic decline, loss of investor confidence, and continued deterioration of essential services like electricity, water, and public transport. Moreover, the public will lose any remaining faith in the government's ability to govern effectively, that is, potentially leading to civil unrest and greater political instability. Gordon's warning is not just about cleaning up corruption, it's about ensuring the survival and future of the success that South Africa is going to actually make. Also, not leaving behind the future success of South Africa as a stable and functioning democracy. Well, a call for accountability is something that needs to also be done. Private Gordon's final letter is a wake-up call for the South African government. The nation cannot afford to lose a fight against corruption, especially at this critical juncture. The government must heed his warning, take decisive action, and also remove corrupt officials from office in order to restore public confidence and also create a better future for all South Africans. Again, will the government finally act or will corruption continue to undermine the nation's progress? Believe me, only time will tell. But Gordon's message is clear. The time for change is actually now. Again, do you think the South African government would take Pravin Gordon's advice seriously and also remove corrupt officials? Next question. What impact do you believe corruption has had on service delivery here in South Africa, especially in key sectors like energy and transport? Again, how can ordinary citizens contribute to the fight against corruption in their communities and institutions? Do you think President Ramaphosa's administration has done enough to address corruption since they took over? Well, what steps should be taken to ensure that corruption investigations lead to tangible consequences for those found guilty? Again, please leave your thoughts in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to this particular channel. Once again, arrow IP to Pravin Gordon. We love him and we're sure he's resting in a better place.